Miles of Freedom is a reentry organization designed to help people bridge the gap from prison to promise. For the past 12 years, we've worked with over 3,000 men and women returning home from prison. Not only that, we help people that's around in the neighborhood with resources. We really work to make sure that it's not just about recidivism, it's about building relationships with those clients and really helping them to have a good quality of life. Now some may be wondering, why do you need a service like Miles of Freedom? Well, the reality is our criminal legal system and the prison system does not provide resources that are conducive to a person returning home from prison. A lot of other re-entry organizations don't really have as broad of a scope as we do. Case managers, they'll come in and they'll just provide basically any and every need that that individual is needing. What I love most is when people come in and they're frustrated and they're looking for an answer and I take the time to give them a deep breath listen to what they have to say and they walk away feeling empowered and that truly brings me joy. I can tell you what Miles of Freedom has done for me. I, I, I was reintegrated back into society, came to Miles of Freedom, I had an interview, I had a case manager. They taught me some skills, how to go on the job interview, you know, how to give eye to eye contact. They hired me on as one of their uh, pantry distribution clerks. And now that I'm driving from Miles of Freedom, picking up donations. It's a great place to come and a great place to, to start over and to promote change. And they invest in us, you know, they want to know how we're doing. You know, when we don't call them, they call us. They're just on hands with everything. Miles of Freedom also has been a place that you can reach out and come. It's like family here. We knit together and we share experiences together. And also we talk about things that uh, most people don't talk about. Our recidivism numbers are great. <laughs> but it's much bigger than that. Our recidivism rate is 5.9%, and that says a lot, not only with the case management piece, but the relationships and the resilience and the respect that individuals receive when they walk into the doors. We have the research that indicates individuals that come to us more than 10 times in case management, that recidivism rate goes down to less than 2%. We really do see people for people instead of that TDCJ number that you get branded with, you know, at the start of your conviction. But if we only look at those recidivism numbers, well then we're saying that we're willing to accept people's poor quality of life as long as they don't reoffend. We actually build workshops that key in on social skill sets, that key in on the things that you need to maintain employment and be a better person, not only in the home, but in the community. We're one of the only reentry organizations that has a social business. The lawn service, we basically help them to build up social skills, communication, being able to just provide a stable source of income and just for them to be able to get up on their feet. 100% of the revenue from that lawn service goes right back into our programs. We also have a food distribution pantry. If you need food, we have a, a really nice food pantry. Everybody can come. We do it Monday through Friday from 10 to 2. With partnerships with the city of Dallas and North Texas Food Bank, distributing collectively about 4 million pounds of food. The wonderful part of the food pantry is the individuals that are providing the service are able to give back to the communities that they live in and that they have come from. That's what we do. That's what Master Freedom is about. We just love the community, love the people that are trying to help themselves re-enter into society. We embrace by way of empathy. We've walked through the shoes of individuals that's walked in the door, either directly or indirectly through families. And that sets the stage for us to meet people where they are. We have this foundation that they can always come back to. Doesn't matter if they got out yesterday or if they got out three years ago and just have hit a bump in the road. And that's so important. It's so important to us, but it's also important to them. It has to be a building of relationships that in turn grows into trust and that stem from hope. And so that's in essence what Miles of Freedom is also within this community. We are a beacon of hope. There's a need, there's a real need. I have a life today because of Miles of Freedom.